Hello and welcome to a new Crusader Kings 3 series. For this series, I decided that we want to be playing a little bit smaller, a little bit slower, and also I want to try out some new mechanics that I haven't really gotten into yet. So, we are going to be playing as Vassal of Bavaria, who themselves are a vassal of the Holy Roman Empire. We're down here somewhere. And what I want to do is I want to explore some of the different religions that we can possibly get. Because a lot of the time when we're playing, it's like, your land has been, your vassal's land has been converted into this religion. You want to join in and we're like, nah, that's going to interrupt our other plans. We're not into that right now. This is the series where we're going to go, yeah, sure. Waldensian, we'll try it out for a while. We'll see how we like it. And I just want to see a little bit more of that. And generally, I want to play a different style of game than we played last game. And the last game that we played was very much a diplomatic, it was a purely on intrigue, there was nothing to do with wars, and we played a very strict style. And when it came to wars, we weren't very good, because our characters weren't set up for it, and um, what we did wasn't set up for it, our realm wasn't set up for it, so I want to try a little bit more of that and see, just from the base level up, whether we can make a better go of that, to have... Um, armies that are a little bit stronger, maybe get a little bit into the mechanics of that. So, um, before we do any of this sort of stuff, uh, let's find out who we are. So we are all the way down here. In Bavaria, we are Diemo of Munchen. Um, and well, there's nothing really special about us. We don't really have any troops. Um, we will not lose the game, apparently, if, it end if we die right now. We will become our half-brother. But, Realistically, this isn't a great situation. There are two of us, I believe. Uh, there's six living members. Okay, so there's us. There is our half-brother. There's a couple of cousins off somewhere else, but generally, nothing too exciting. If I go and actually have a look at our dynasty tree here, just to find out. So are our cousins even on it? Well, um, we're the dynasty... Oh, actually, our half-brother is the dynasty head, interestingly. And he also holds a county tier title. Um, but our cousins don't actually appear to be on it somewhere. Let me expand that a little bit. Ah, there we go. So if we go out to this level, yes, we got a couple of different lines, but generally not the greatest. So I assume that our, um, like our second in line is going to be this guy, and then it'll probably be Sophia. If we go and have a look, we should be able to see that on our title. Yeah, so it goes that guy, and then it goes into these two. So generally not the best of situations, but, you know, we have a couple of people we can work with. So, where is this guy hanging out? So he's currently in my half-brother's court. So it seems like a lot of people are in my half-brother's court. Do we have anybody in ours? No. So we're, we're working with not a lot. So I would say that our first goal is probably to get our half-brother's land. Um, we no doubt will be able to get some kind of claim or something on it. Uh, and then getting him under us would be quite good because it gives us um, a family member there and we can have kind of control of our heir. I think that seems like a good situation, potentially. Um, it might also be good to get the immediate one between us, because then we'll have a little bit more power and we can take it more easily. Um, we actually don't have a claim on this title, which I thought we might do, but um, we could get one. What have we got in terms of uneducation? So we're great eminence, so lots of diplomacy. That's, uh, that's interesting. It's not necessarily going to be that useful for us right now, but we could maybe do something with that. Uh, have we got any of lifestyle traits already? So we have a couple perks already in here. So we're going befriend. Okay. Room to rule. So we have our children get bonuses. So we probably want to actually have children at some point. Close family likes us. Maybe instead of this, maybe I change my mind. Maybe instead of this, because we don't actually have a claim on his titles, we try and get an alliance with him. Can we do that? We can negotiate an alliance. We're both underneath Bavaria. Right now our goals don't really uh, differ that much. The land in Bavaria, there's a lot of it. We can probably share it. You know what? I think we grab an alliance with our brother. I've changed my mind. I think we'll go for an alliance. There we go. What other things it's suggesting? We're first in line to that. That's fine. There's an active election in the Holy Roman Empire. Now, the Holy Roman Empire being elective is actually quite interesting because it means that if we were to eventually um, be right underneath the emperor, we could potentially um, move ourselves towards... Uh, ruling the Holy Roman Empire. I mean, I don't believe right now that we're even... Yeah, I don't believe they're even able to vote for us, but it is interesting that there's an active election and that we could potentially um, get that to happen at some point. So the candidates are close family, claimants, and electors. Okay, so if we were to get into this uh, 
if we were to get uh, into the elector list, we could get ourselves voted for. Or if we were to claim our liege's title using that um, CB at some point, we could do it. Uh, we get that through one of these, I think. I think one of these lets you claim liege's titles. I'm not entirely sure which one it is, but anyway, it's it's in here somewhere. It's not really that important because it doesn't really apply to us. Uh, the other thing that we can do is we can try and increase our marshal uh, in here. I think this might be where I go. Trying to increase our marshal so that we can potentially take over some of the nearby places. Um, if I was to make us... Actually, what's our control like right now? Let's have a look here. So our control level, if I go down, is 100. So we don't need the one that gives us control. So I'd probably want to work on either this one that gives us an attraction bonus, which could potentially be useful depending on what we want to use it for, or this one that just gives us pure um, martial. Actually, this one also gives us advantage as well, which is quite good. Yeah, let's take sh um, chivalry focus. And then I don't know which path we want to go down yet, but whatever one makes us bet, like maybe one that just makes us personally better. So maybe something like gallant to... Uh, give us prowess and reduces risk of commanding armies that kind of sounds like this kind of stuff is what we're looking for knight stuff yeah yeah friendly fatal uh, fatal casualties that sort of stuff's all sounding good yeah number of knights this seems like somewhere that we could definitely work with have some strong knights they're quite useful early on so that seems like a good idea um, I also want to get a claim on this guy so let's have a look and make sure that our council's right so we have a really really good bishop is there anything we can do with a good bishop we can give us religious relations, which gives us a lot of piety, which is quite nice. I mean, we're not going to do anything with it right now, but it's nice and other Catholic rulers like us. Okay. Or, or theocratic rulers like us. Uh, possible side effect is it increases vassal opinion. We don't have any vassals, but I mean, that, at least I don't think we do. Do we have vassals? Oh, we have one vassal. Uh, the mayor. Okay, and he's our knight. Uh, he actually doesn't like us right now because of short reign, but, you know, he might like us in the future. Fabricate claim on county. Oh, fantastic. Well, we'll send him off to do that on the one next door. Okay, 14 months. So it's actually not even going to take him that long. Here, my chancellor, we can have him on foreign affairs or domestic affairs. Um, well, I think they fixed it, but it used to be that uh, one of these didn't work. I think it was domestic affairs didn't work while you were a vassal. I think it does now. Uh, I think they fixed that at some point. I don't really need foreign rulers stuff, but fellow vassal opinion going up would be quite nice because we do have some fellow vassals. Collect taxes, 3% domain taxes. How much do we get through our domain? Uh, 1.6. Is that including the uh, 3%? No, that I think that's just 1.6. It's not really getting us very much, is it? 3% of 1.6. Yeah, that's like a really low number. I don't think we need that. Um, What's the other one? So 100% increases our development by one. Okay. Uh, it does have some negative side effects, but it's not that bad. He's not that good at it. Uh, do we have somebody else who could take that job? Uh, Ellenhard, my uh, chancellor and knight, could take that job. Okay, he's currently my... Yeah, he is currently my chancellor. I don't really care about what my chancellor is doing, though. I think I'll swap them. Yeah, that's fine. Um, So he is now going to go... How much does he increase it by? 6%. It's a little bit better, but I think I'd prefer the increased development right now. Each point of development gives us a benefit. So if we have a look here, it gives us uh, levies, taxes, and supply limit. That's pretty good. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have increased our, that, our development. He's really slow at it, but honestly, I think long-term game is better than short-term game here. Uh, what have we got? So we can organize levies, give us more levies, or... Train commanders. Uh, I think we need as many troops as possible right now. Uh, we really don't have that many, so I think an extra 20% is reasonable. I'll, we'll leave him on that. And Spy Master, probably just going to leave him on Disrupt Schemes. I'm seeing what else we got. Find Secrets, Support Schemes are Disrupt. Um, the, the two options I see, we don't have a scheme that we want him to support right now, so it would be between Find Secrets and Disrupt Schemes. Secrets could be useful, I suppose. Yeah, I suppose we could try and find some secrets on our liege. I don't know what we're going to do with them, but we'll, we'll try and find some secrets. Let's see what's going on there. Right. Uh, they're all set up. Um, we have no schemes to do. I think we're mostly good. We have one guest visiting right now. He seems all right. He's not amazing. Do we have uh, full knights? Uh, we have five out of five knights. 
with this guy we could bring in here. He is a better knight than some of the others, but he's not amazing. Yeah, he's not like gonna be the difference between winning or losing right now. Okay, I think we're fine. I've sent off that. Next thing we need to do is get married. So, um, who do we want to get married to? I mean, actually, if we just look at this here, who do we want to get married to? It's going to be somebody in the Holy Roman Empire. That makes the most sense for us right now. Um, maybe someone in Salzburg or Nordgau. That would seem like a good option. We marry up to either of them. So Salzburg, not going to happen because... Or Salzburg's not going to happen because they're a duchy tier. He controls all the ones below it. And they are a theocracy, which means that you can't marry into it. This one here, you have one child. Okay. Uh, she is married. Okay, how about... Do you have any vassals? Uh, you do not have any vassals. Okay. Uh, Swabia? You have some younger ones here who we could potentially marry. Uh, it would be a long time till we actually get children out of that, though. How about Ravensburg? I'm just going to check some of these nearby. I don't necessarily even want to marry in so that we, uh, can take over their land. I just want to marry in for an alliance. How about her? She seems reasonable. She's nearby. She's the sib sibling of the current count. That seems like a good option. She has a couple of claims we could potentially press at some point if we felt the need. Yeah, she seems like a good marriage. We'll uh, be able to marry in two years. Yeah, arrange marriage between her and us. Uh, he's happy with it because he likes us. He's terrified of us as well, apparently. But yeah, that's good. Yeah, we'll get that marriage going. Right. And with all of that, I believe that we are actually able to unpause. We've got everything that we need to do. Anything else that we need to do immediately? I don't really think so. I think we're mostly okay. We could set a court physician, which we'd have to search for. But I don't really feel like we need to pay for one unless we're in a major situation where we need to do that. Uh, do we have anything else in here? Like, is there any buildings? It costs 150. We can't afford them. Yeah, I think we get our claim. We get our alliance of our brother. We press the claim in 14 months. I think we got a fairly firm strategy. So, let's uh, go to full speed and see what the game throws at us. My dear brother, I am honored by your request and I'd be glad to call you an ally. Absolutely fantastic news, allied with our brother, who also happens to be our the head of our dynasty, which is good. Yeah, generally seems like a good idea. He has roughly equal strength to us and to our um, neighbor. Okay, we're going to be betrothed, so I believe that has given us another alliance. So, yes, we are now allied to this guy, um, who is our brother, and to Ravensburg. Fantastic. Right, let's unpause, let it continue running. Anything else likely to happen? We got a new law. Our liege, so this is Bavaria, has passed limited crown authority. So, rulers can change between available partition succession laws. Titles can be revoked, vassals can be retracted, and then clan government stuff doesn't matter because we're not a clan government. And then uh, Catholicism's fervor decreased by 10. Okay. Again, not a huge deal. So you've finished the find secrets task. Despite our best efforts, my agents have yet to uncover any secret at Duke Otto's court. I do not believe we will ever find anything either. There is less going on here than a graveyard at noon. That's probably because the game's just started and there are no secrets. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll switch you to disrupt schemes. That's fine. If, if we haven't got anything, we haven't got anything. A sudden shock. I have ridden, taken aim, and struck so many times I thought nothing could upset my rhythm. As I take yet another gallop down the practice range, a commotion I cannot fully see makes my horse rear up. For an instant, momentum keeps me pinned to the back of uh, the horse as it starts shaking. Then, as if time is flowing slow, I can feel myself becoming dislodged. So I can say, calm down, girl, calm down. Chance we become wounded, but also a chance that we become an experienced rider. Which is fairly good. We don't probably have that much like calf, but that's okay. Or I die for stable ground. I don't think we want to lose our prestige right now, so I'll take the chance of being wounded. Wounded isn't that bad, is it? It's a severe health penalty, but we are 27. We should be fine. Yeah, I think, I think we'll be okay. I'm thrown to the hard pack ground, the pain of the impact rushing through every bone in my body. The stable boy comes running just a little too late. I am wounded. Well, that's not ideal, I'll be honest with you. Uh, we got organized service, which has given us some holding taxes. Not bad. Um, not bad at all. And then, yeah, all of that's good. 
To my vassal, I hoped it would not come to this, but I am left with no other option. I must rescind your appointment as Chancellor of Bavaria, effective immediately. Otto, you have made a very powerless enemy today. How dare he. Right. We'll get Otto eventually. Maybe. Ooh, there's a faction against him. Let's see what we got. So, faction. Your acquaintance Otto has created... Uh, Count Otto has created the Liberty Faction uh, against Duke Otto to lower crown authority. Interesting. We could potentially get involved in that. I prowl through documents, both ancient and of less certain provenance. I finally uh, have enough material to make the case that you are the rightful lord of the county of uh, Gessenhausen. Indeed, I could even argue you are the rightful lord of the Duchy of Bavaria. Hmm. Interesting. All of Bavaria will be mine. I lose a lot of money, which I cannot gain back very quickly, and I believe I'm not even able to declare wars. I'm just trying to think what an unpressed claim on the Duchy of Bavaria is going to get me. My children won't get it. My liege won't like me. I won't be able to win it. It just kind of seems like the kind of claim which isn't very useful. Or, I can spend this one. It's a little bit more than we have, but a claim on that's good. Yeah, I think we'll take this. We'll just take the straight claim, I think. I don't think 140 is worth doing. You're in debt. Well, tell me about it. it oh, wait, what, what else does it do? So, vassal opinions down. Doesn't matter, we, don't, we only have one vassal. Popular opinions down, which isn't good. Uh, Advantage is down, which would be if we actually fought a battle, which we're not going to. Levy rate and levy reinforcement. It really doesn't matter that much. We're only going to be in debt for nine months, which isn't too bad. Oh, maybe even not that. With my marriage to Countess uh, Edelheid, the realm expects us to throw a suitably extravagant wedding celebration. It is well within my rights to collect a royal aid duty as part of this, but some may consider it tasteless to levy an extra tax during a time of jubilation. So, I can gain 75 gold or prestige. Um, 75 gold is a huge amount of gold for us. I will, of course, take it. Alright, we now have money. And now it's going to say I can declare war on Count Dietrich. Um, well, let's have a look. We have 275 uh, troops. And our ally has 242. This guy has 298. So, he has more... But we have, uh, well, sorry, he has more individually compared to either of us, but together, the family can do it. So I think we're going to declare a war for my claim. It's going to cost me some prestige to declare it. Doesn't seem like it's an issue. Um, okay, let's go for it. I have declared war on Count Dietrich. You can call our allies to war. Oh, I can also call Ravensburg. Uh, I don't know if we need to. They are quite strong, though. I'll keep them in the back of my mind. I'm going to call in my brother, though. Yes, he has joined the war. Fantastic. Right. So, we are going to raise our troops. Um, raise all armies, button. There we go. So, we don't have that many. But wait a day for them all to raise up. Those are 274. Um, I'm just seeing. So it's all planes along here. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to walk into this Bishoprik. Which should allow us to end up next to our brother. Hopefully. Yep, brother's raising. We're all merging up here. Wait for him to uh, arrive. And then we'll move up to attack. Nice. As a group. We should be fine here. What's it think? It thinks we're going to win because we have a better army commander, we have more army commander traits, and we have more soldiers. We could lead ourselves, but I don't see a reason to when our marshal is so good at it. Yeah, let's just attack. So we attack in. Let's see here. Battle. Uh, it's very straightforward. We have eight knights, which is a lot of prowess going towards our side. He only has three, which is less than the maximum. We have more troops. They're, they're pretty much the exact same troops, I imagine. Uh, we can't see the breakdown. I guess levies are just levies and only men at arms break down. So yeah, we have the exact same troops. It's on planes, which is not, not got anything special. So yeah, we should just win. Which we are. Yeah, we're just going to straight up win. There's, there's not really anything he can do on his side of it here. So we'll take that down. They're going to run away. Apparently my ally is also leaving right now. We need him to be over here. Oh, we actually don't have enough to siege, right? Uh, Teach will not progress because the besieging army is smaller than the garrison. Oh, can we even win? 
Have I declared a war that's impossible to win? I kind of assumed that we would be able to uh, actually siege down his land. It's kind of interesting that they would have a start where we're not able to actually effectively siege at all. Do we have a cap for this war? Uh, it doesn't say that we have a battles cap. So I think I'm going to go chase down his army and see what we can do about it. Because, I mean, we can't, like, siege. There's no point. Yeah, I'm ready to take this fight. Let, let's go. I'm, I'm ready. They're running away. Hopefully our allies with getting with the uh, program. We're wounded, but that's alright. Keep chasing them down. Keep chasing them down. He is running very well. Um, I'm actually quite impressed. They've been going for a long time now. Yeah, attack in here. There we go. We finally caught him. And now we defeat them again. Okay, we got less war score that time. Still doesn't say it's capped, but it might cap eventually. We'll chase him down this way. See what we can do. Heading up north. May end up that we have to white piece, in which case we lost some prestige, but... Ooh, our wife is pregnant. Fantastic news. Um, that means that we're going to have a proper heir. But yeah, even if we end with a white piece, we will still have a pressed claim because we pressed it in a war. So that'll be good. Yeah. Yeah, change where we're attacking. Attack in. Defeat his army. But yeah, if we have a pressed claim, then that means that at least we can pass it along. It's capped at 50, right? Yeah. All right. Well, we'll white piece. Um, it becomes pressed. We spent seven prestige on it. So effectively, we spent... 82 prestige for the knowledge that we can't siege it down right now. And the reason we can't siege it down is because it has a garrison of um, 1,000. Which is going to make it very difficult for us to ever actually take it. Um, do we have the same on ours? No, our castle is only level 1. Is it the same on this side as well? Yeah, so this guy actually is a huge power in the region because he can never lose a war uh, through that means. Like, he can only ever go neutral on it. He's actually not that far away from us being able to enforce demands. Unfortunately, we, we can't really make up that difference. So, I'm in a white piece. On the positive side, our allies will share 15 prestige. So, um, we get pressed and our um, brother gets 15 prestige, which isn't too bad. Okay, so, pause that out here. May wisdom ever elude you accept your offer of peace. Let us put this conflict behind us. He looks so smug. All right, well, we'll disband our troops. So our first goal should be one, to get uh, to get a thousand troops so we can actually take that down. And two, um, to potentially find somewhere that has a lower garrison. Like this guy, Falkenstein, would be a much better one. So let's maybe just set uh, us to get a claim over there. Although actually, if I have a look, uh, we would have to take both of his potentially. And then the other one is, oh no, they're both castle level one. So although this guy's a little stronger, it would probably be better to take one of his titles because, well, we can, essentially. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching, and I will hopefully see you next time for the next episode. If you enjoyed this, please consider leaving a like, a comment, subscribing, all that sort of stuff, because it does help the channel grow. And generally, on the first episode of a series, it helps uh, the algorithm realize that, hey, I should suggest this to other people, and it will just generally help all around. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye!